What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. We needed to try out the wizard, the 89 rated Tiago from uh, Bayern Munich. What a card man. He is dribbling, his skill moves, he looks like a perfect centre mid, a cam, wherever you want to play him really on the pitch. Not, not striker, that's not recommended, but yeah, cam centre mid looks great. This is his fourth special item on the game, technically his second in form, but he's 89 rated. And I've dropped in a few of the other informs from the Bundesliga to give a go. So if you can drop a like on the video, that is much appreciated. And if you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com. Make sure to use the code Fuji for cam back and let's get into it so not only yesterday but the day before in the attack my creativity levels just aren't there and I'm struggling and it could be down to a mixture of just me not playing as well as I know I can and also changing my teams I bounce between my main account and on the road to glory so the players are different the team is different and also on my road to glory account that team is built up like specifically to the way I play so I have midfielders suited to my style and then when I come to this team and I want to use the same custom tactics you've got Thiago yes he can do a good job I'll get into what I really like about him in a second but he's not really one of those for that, that like a high tempo style of play uh, Vidal is because he is that box to box just physical beast whereas Thiago just sits in the midfield and, and tries to dictate the play so I, I don't know it could just be the way I'm playing I feel that defensively I've gone one step forward and two steps back could just be an off day so I won't really take it to heart but that is a slight concern of mine not only for the weekend league but the fatal series as well so i did change up the tactics though because it hasn't really been feeling that good and i wanted to see if i could uh, try something different just for just for the day really so if we look at 89 rated tiago his stats are just remarkable 78 pace which is perfectly fine for a center mid apply whatever chem style you wish to be bringing up that pace it could be hunter it could be engine hawk whatever just look for a chem style to to notch it up a couple of levels and he's going to feel quick in game 94 dribbling 94 that is just amazing his ball control is dribbling and he does have those five star skills to make him incredibly fun to use his shooting was good i did score uh, only the three goals i played eight games by the way two of those were disconnects so three uh, three goals five assists in eight games isn't bad for a center mid and 92 passing and what i was noticing him to be really good at was those diagonal balls from the right side like straight through the middle finding modest and speaking about modest that's another inform that i wanted to give a go from last week yeah he was in last week's team of the week he's actually a monster i remember his first inform card and he was lacking a little bit in the pace uh, department this one no problems at all he was running through using his strength eight games seven goals and a very nice shot on him and the last inform that i gave a go which was this guy and it is pishek eighty nine thousand coins i think that's pretty cheap with the shadow chemistry style he's not really going to be pushing up too high with those medium medium work rates and he did feel good making nice tackles interceptions and keeping his position quite well he is worth picking up for eighty nine thousand coins he is right now the best right back in the Premier uh, in the Premier League in the Bundesliga, no doubt about that. Philip Lahm, he's a higher rating. Who's going to use Philip Lahm with 68 pace? Is it? Yeah, I think it's about 68, 60. Yeah, I think it's 68 pace. So going through the team, we've got Handanovic in goal. That's not bad, really. Uh, Pishek in form. Boateng before he got downgraded, which was uh, kind of harsh. Miranda, Alexandro, Medel. I was switching, by the way, Videl and Medel. Videl and Medel in game. So we had Videl on the left hand side, Medel straight in the middle, Thiago centre mid, Ben Arthur that was fantastic to use, Lacazette and uh, Modest up top. So the custom tactics that I ended up using is a different style. Um, usually I play like high pressure, like kind of high aggression. I do like the fact that if my opponent is trying to link up the play really quickly around the edge of my area, I will have my centimeters just to step in front. Not too much to the point where they're all running about all over the place, but I do like that where they take it upon themselves to make the interception. It really does help just break up the play and then you don't have to do as much defending uh, on your own with uh, the chance creation this is what i wanted to fiddle about with i had it on 65 uh, before like 65 70 dropped it back down to 60 
just something wasn't clicking it just didn't feel that great but this team to be fair did uh, do a good job and 75 speed it has felt a little bit slow I don't know if there's been a patch or, or whatever but I need to adapt my style again it feels like I'm just off and on some days it's cl it clicks some days it doesn't but the custom tactics are there the play instructions for my two strikers to get in behind stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking for the fullbacks yeah that's all good let's go into the clips and see what Tiago is like, Hishek is like, and Modesk. Let's hit the pitch. So what I've noticed with Tiago is that he's one of those players where you're not sure if you want to play him as a sentiment or a cam. For me anyway, if you're wanting to get a little bit more out of your money, I would put him in a cam position because technically he is gifted. He has 94 dribbling. So if you're playing it into uh, his feet or an area where he has a lot of players around him, he can get out of those situations. As a centre mid though, he will have a little bit more time on the ball so you can really feel his dribbling there. He can play both positions very, very well. I would recommend as a cam because with those medium, medium work rates, he will literally sit there. So it's best if you have players that are really quick attackers that can just keep running in behind. Otherwise, for my style anyway, with medium medium, he's not really going to take it upon himself to overlap the strikers. So it depends on your style. If you're someone that likes to play, I wouldn't say slow, but slower than your normal player, then Thiago is just one of those that is going to add composure to your team. And what I liked about the card as well, his shooting. His shooting has been bummed. When he was in space, eventually from the sentiment position, he got himself up inside the box. No problem scoring goals. Finesse shots, shots across goal, really good. So that's why I recommend playing him as a sentiment or a cam. Doesn't really matter. He's not going to let you down inside the box. His passing, awesome. Those diagonal balls, like I explained in the squad screen, from right to left, up to Modeste, up to Lacazette, it was working ever so well. And his dribbling is great. I would maybe recommend playing a Hawk chemistry style on the card, just to bring up that physical a little bit. So if you do decide to play him in a cam position he can hold his own for a little and then wait for strikers to get into better positions but he was a great card and for 150,000 coins he's one of those that not many people want to invest in I think he's going to drop to like 120 130 which is a great great price for the stats that he's bringing to your team and he can sue uh, like numerous styles so he's not just like a one-dimensional player and like eight games three goals five assists I personally would say that's a good return and Modest. He was making incredible runs. He turned out to be like the star player in this side. Thiago was finding him no problem and his strength is unreal. One of those clips that I got, Smallin was trying to come over and bully him. He wasn't having any of it. Held LT, bumped him off and he finished with uh, with ease. Like He is a clinical striker and I quite liked him. And I didn't feel that his pace was much, in it, much of an issue. And he's 50,000 coins. Like That's very, very cheap for uh, like a second in form. Is it second or third in form a striker now? He was great. But the last player is Pishek. Is he good? Yes. For 80,000 coins or 89,000 that I bought him for, the best right back in the Bundesliga, no doubt about that. Tackling, physical, positioning wise, he's great. He's what you need from one of those right backs that you don't want to push up too much. And he's the best option now in the Bundesliga. So I would say that's a cheap price. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it from me. Would I say Thiago's worth it for 150k? Yes, great card. Striker Modest, yes, even for 50,000. Well, he, he'd probably drop over time. And Pishek also. Those three players felt really good. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video, and I will see you soon. Team out. Whoops.